Students who are impulsive or rushed benefit from posted speed limits. Every task or activity has an optimal pace. With math, for example, going 50 miles per hour is great during probes when the goal is to recall as many facts as possible in a short time frame. It's better to go a little slower than that when estimating what the answer to a word problem will be. 30 miles an hour will be a good speed when setting up problems. Calculating and then checking for mistakes require the slowest speeds when the student has to be the most detail oriented. For writing, 50 miles per hour is a good speed when brainstorming ideas. But when organizing those ideas into an outline, a 20 mile per hour limit is needed. At the drafting stage, 40 miles per hour is the right speed since the student is fleshing out the outline into sentences and paragraphs. Revising requires a slower speed, but not as slow as for editing. Acknowledging different speeds helps students understand that their options are not simply fast or slow. Speed limit signs could be placed in a student's notebook, or they could be posted at home. In a classroom, they can prompt group discussions about task demands and working speed, all of which develops metacognition or thinking about thinking. Five speed limits would probably be the max for any age range. Younger students may do better with just three speed limits, such as 50 miles per hour for games, 30 for reading, and 10 for checking work. So post speed limits at home, in the classroom, or anywhere students need visual prompts for how to pace their thinking and work. For more practical psychology to enhance your life, check out psychbytes.com.